I am going to show you how I convert my normal bicycle into an electric bicycle. Here's a look at the bicycle that I'm going to convert into an electric bike. The good part about this conversion is that you don't need to take out the flywheel of the bike, so you leave everything as is. Here are the parts that you will need for the electric conversion. You can get this whole package here from either Amazon or eBay. What I have here is an electric motor. This one is a 36 volts and 450 watts. The flywheel that you will need to convert your back uh, wheel. Here we have the controller. Controller connects to the accelerator that you see here and as well as the chain for the electric motor part. Because my bike doesn't have the rear carrier, I bought a rear carrier, and this is where I'm planning to place my battery. For tools, of course, we have the usual suspects. The one specialized tool that I want to point out is this chain breaker. This is to break the chains to loosen it or lengthen it, just in case the chain that came along with the electric motor is too long. To break the chain, you simply place the chain breaker or the chain in the slot here, like so. And then you use the handle, you turn the handle to push the metal pin that locks these two chains together out of the way, like so. So there's a couple things that you need to do in order to place this hub here onto the wheel here. Two parts that you need to take out. Here you have to unscrew. The, the hub here and also the brake so you can pull the wheel out to install this component. For the brake to come off, release the cable from this thing here to release the tension like that. So now this is free as you can see and you can move. So the next part is to remove the hub counterclockwise. Uh, and then do so on the other side as well. There we go. So to remove the wheel, what you do is you kind of push the tension downward a little bit and kind of wiggle your way around the chain. Be careful. And so you can remove it from the teeth there. Leave it on the side like that. To fully remove it, you see how the tension is clamping up here? You simply Remove like that so it doesn't get in the way of the free wheel. And then you can just take it away like that. See how simple it is? This free wheel goes on the outside and then uh, like so. For the, uh, the inner part, you have to cut the inner part like so. There we go. This way this can go inside the part. And this opens up like this, and it goes around like that. So also, you saw earlier, there's a metal part here. So the metal part, once you put the free wheel there, this one here has already been cut. It goes inside there as well. So I'm not worried about the alignment right now because I'm putting it just loosely. So once I I have all this together, then I'll tighten it up and then uh, make sure that this is right dead in the center. So I'm almost done. Okay, so now I have, as you can see, it's all in place. So you have the rubber part right in the middle. It's gonna grip these things together. So the metal here will also help to grip and hold spokes in place for the wheel to turn. It's amazing, huh? It's a really good idea. All right, so now I'm ready to tighten up the, uh, the nuts and bolts here. So I'm using this one to hold the back in place like so, and then use this here to tighten up the screw. Alright, so I completed tightening the nuts and bolts together here very tightly. As you can see from this angle here at the bottom, the spokes 
a crush between the rubbers there. You see, really tightly so that we could spin the wheels along with the flywheel here. So now we're ready to put the bike back in place. bracket and align line it with the holes here and then kind of do that put the screw in place um, and once they are in place you can tighten them with the screw like that Okay, it's time to install the electric motor. So don't forget to put in the chain here. And if the chain doesn't fit, or if it's too long, you can use this to uh, cut it off. So, this is pretty tight. Uh, looks like it's aligned pretty well. You just have to make sure that this is aligned and fit in snugly. I have the 12 volt battery here. I'm do the red first. Get up there. Okay. Should work. Whoa. Did you hear that? That was a lot of power. A little spark there. So now you got, you got this thing going. Pretty cool. All right, so for the battery, you're gonna have to be a little bit creative because there's only a limited amount of space. So I'm going to use the uh, the back area of the bicycle to put uh, my battery pack. So I'm gonna drill holes in here like that, and also drill holes in this container as well. I installed the, uh, the battery storage place here. I also put a little cardboard on top of it so that the metal part here won't touch the battery. For battery connection, I'm gonna have to drill a little hole here. There we go. For the battery, you wanna create a little cushion between them so they don't bang each other and break. I'm putting double-sided tape on uh, each battery. You also want to tape them together as well. Since the electric motor is only 36 volts, I am just going to use only three of these batteries. I connect the batteries in series, so together they add up to 36. Beautifully, the motor fit nicely onto the bike. It's not too pokey, but it looks just like part of it right now. So it's nice. I'm going to test it to see if it's working. I'm gonna put the bike on this little jack stand here so the back wheel can be lift off. And then we're gonna turn on the ignition and turn on the power and see if the back wheel will spin. And if it does, and then we have a successful Project. Here we go. Cool. Okay, so now it's on. So I'm gonna turn on the accelerator here. I want to see if the back wheel starts to spin. Whoa, see that? So here's the moment of truth. 
I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So we're gonna test this baby out to see if it's gonna work. Ooh, this is good. Back in the garage, as you saw earlier, this is a really exciting electric bicycle. We converted it from a normal bicycle into something that's more powerful and fast. So I hope the installation process is helpful to you. If you have an old bicycle that you want to convert into an electric bike, this is something definitely you can do yourself. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.